the virtues and sins i have spoken already about the sin of pride the sin of lust the sin of greed and today i speak about envy you know envy is a special sin it's very subtle it's very subtle because you can be smiling and yet at the same time sin in your heart what is envy envy is your being not happy with someone else having something which you do not have you know you can't have everything there is every person is unique you have something which i do not have perhaps your beauty i do not have perhaps i am little more intelligent maybe you are not perhaps you have got some wealth with you which i was not destined to get it perhaps you have certain records and registers and awards which i don't have it's not necessary that whatever you have that i should have but the devil plays a game he tells you see the person the your next door neighbor he has got something and you don't have it and you start envying the person you start making stories about that person you start denigrating the person and whenever the person comes in front of you your mood suddenly changes this is envy this is envy envy is not appreciating in others what they have and at the same time denigrating them for things that they have and you don't have perhaps you cannot have at all unfortunately my height is only 5 feet i wish i would be 7 feet if i start envying the people who are 7 feet i will never become tall i god has made me short i am happy sometimes they say small is beautiful enough now perhaps what if i could give some examples from the bible you know chapter 4 of genesis speaks of cain and abel cain and abel and abel had certain things which cable which cain did not have and the offering that that cain that abel offered to god was seemed to have been acceptable and perhaps cain's was not accepted and therefore he not only is envious and jealous of him he kills him because he does not have you know envy is such a terrible ache in the stomach that you are not peaceful unless you do some harm and it's not you who does but the devil in you who tries to do it we also speak of genesis chapter 37 where joseph you know one of the 12 sons of jacob and he was the youngest and the most beautiful one most handsome one and everyone envied him and the father unfortunately also always mentioned about joseph and he took him closer he made some clothes for him and everything was burning for the other brothers they were envious jealous of him and they also tried to kill him first but because the elders said let us not kill him he is our brother and they sold him as a slave and we know the whole story one who was sold as a slave became the chief minister of egypt and at the time of famine these 12 11 brothers had to go to joseph whom they didn't recognize but he recognized them and accepted them as they are there is a beautiful saying in the book of proverbs i shall read it to you the proverb says that uh, a heart at peace gives life to the body a heart at peace gives life to the body but every when we rots the bones envy rots the bones this is very true i don't know whether envy causes bone cancer i i'm surely want not wanting to connect these two things but envy is something that eats up eats up inside and it's terrible let me say that how do we get rid of envy or rather what should we do in order that we are not envious first of all learn to appreciate the good in others you are singing beautifully i am so happy i got a voice of a frog i am croaking always but you got a beautiful voice ah uh, secondly we can also say that uh, i can't have everything nobody can have everything you have something i have something perhaps you may also envy me because i got something which you don't have 
learn to appreciate each other thirdly avoid the company of those perhaps are always grumbling envious jealous gossip you know gossip comes from little from envy and the holy father pope francis says gossip is like terrorism terror is you destroy a person avoid the company of these people they are never good if you are hungering to go with them perhaps they will poison you also you know envy is a small is a small poison is a slow poison that kills you that eats up your bones your cells you can also spend time with grateful people you know there are some people who are always smiling who are always happy god has not given them much but how much they share with the others how much they like to perhaps make others happy perhaps your own mother your grandmother they didn't have much but they want you to be happy they want you to be loving so also the people who are grateful make their company make friendship with them they teach you how to bless god for the small things in our life small things in our life you know that day someone told me that there was this old lady after the flowers were collected from the altar i think someone was throwing she at once ran and took one flower from there and she was just admiring it and this lady who gave her said you know we are just throwing these flowers out if you could only give to some people who can take them they would be so happy grateful people lastly i say that uh, celebrate the success of people celebrate the success of people someone has done well and perhaps in the whole class uh, the neighbor's son has done well celebrate understood that perhaps your son has not done well but appreciate and celebrate the success of other people this is how we can get rid of envy and i hope in the lenten season my thoughts and reflections help you in order to come closer to god because lenten season is a season of grace it's a season of blessing god bless you